The plan today is... Destroy it! We're Steph and Micah, and we bought this 2003 ambulance to convert into a camper van. This week, we're wrapping up the demolition phase and finally starting to build. And I think we've gotten our mojo back. Ah, oh, this is fun now. <laughs> Join us this week as we inch our way closer to figuring this thing out. can't have that. Give that to me. Good morning everyone. Today we're working on the ambulance, doing several different things. Let's get to work. If you know anything about demolition and ambulances, you'll know about these little bottom plates. But these two I've been putting off because the nuts on the other side, I can't hardly reach them because of the gas tank. The options are get a second person to help undo this while I break my arm trying to reach from the bottom or I can just try and destroy them. So we're gonna try and destroy them. We got one out. How long did it take? Um, probably an hour. <laughs> just for one. One of the screws didn't come out, so he just took the angle grinder and cut the screw because that thing lifted up enough. So we're trying to do that. For this one. Because these ones are like super stretched. It's boiling! Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, the, the it did a, a, an O ring. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah! <laughs> wow! They're perfect! <laughs> <laughs> I made my day. That <laughs> made you a day? Yeah. When you spend hours trying to get these things off. Yeah. The little things. Ah, oh, this is fun now. <laughs> He's trying to so annoyed that we're not paying attention to him. Whoa. what we have here. And the solution is you just have to manhandle it and destroy it. Destroy it! We just created a new list. This says the old list. Pretty much all checked. It was all electrical stuff. So we want to put these pegs in the floor because the shower is going to be here. And we have to get the electrical check. Micah finished wiring everything, right? You're done wiring? Yeah, pretty much. Then sound bed detoning. I had no idea how to write that. Sound detoning. That thing that Mike is doing right now. Is it working? A little. A little bit. Yeah. And that's the plan, Sam. You can do it, Micah. So I just finished putting the hot and cold water in the floor for the potential shower. Potential, potential shower. Phase one of the ambulance is like get it livable that we can travel in it. Phase two is travel. Upgrades. Phase two. Upgrades. Upgrades and then we might keep it forever. Maybe. I think right now we're seeing how cool it can be. So well, yeah, because our, our initial plan was to travel with it for like six months or something like that and then sell it, buy a house, whatever. But now... Cool. Might keep it. <laughs> we'll see. Two. Yay, congrats. Now. Ten more to go. I need to find scissors in here. Oh. How did I get this lucky? Literally, scissors. Now I need to find like a wheel to like press the sound deadening so there's no bubbles. Just to borrow it. <laughs> Thanks Luke, or Levi. Thank you, Luke. So we found this trick from Eamon and Beck, by the way. We find all our tricks from Eamon and Beck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys. Quality control. <laughs> <laughs> Difference. 
I don't know. Is this necessary? I don't know. episode of Steph and Micah. <laughs> we just got back from Canada. It's Micah's birthday. He's 28 today. By the time you watch this, it's not my birthday anymore. But still say happy birthday. You can say happy belated, but that's okay. It was also Steph's birthday. 20 days ago. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Steph. Now get to work. You get to work, Byron. We gotta dust the cobwebs <laughs> off. The plan today is uh, finish up the detonate and then we have two boards of rigid foam for insulation so we can start um, putting that up. I think we're doing ceiling first, right? Ceiling first. It didn't work. Meow. Hey, you should show your uh, um, birthday gift. Okay, here's my birthday gift, guys. Oh, wow. Thank Thanks. you to my brother for contributing to this gift. We're gonna have nice straight cuts. I think it makes a difference. We yeah. tested it. Can you hear a difference? I hear a difference. A little bit. A little bit less resonance. Like that. We are done. <laughs> I'm not done. Yeah, I'm still not done with the decal. I still have fire medics. Boom! River. Oh yeah. You need to do it the other way. That's pretty good. Don't show this. <laughs> I'm showing it. We cut it just a little too big. So Mike is pushing it in <laughs> with his head. I should have been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's a big spider. this today which is pretty good we only worked for a couple hours I think it's gonna look really good I can already tell that it's it doesn't sound as echoey and because before everything was dark but because of the purple and like the reflection of the light it brings in a lot more light so I'm really excited when we're gonna put the walls up good job Micah good job Steph Micah worked on his birthday that's pretty cool Trend. I work on my birthday every year. Do you want to play ball? You want to play ball? Say bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. <gasps> a little dusty. I pretty much finished all of the insulation on the on the roof, and I just had a thought that there's these metal beams that go across, and they're hollow. So that's gonna be a gap in the insulation. So I had an idea to drill holes periodically, like every six inches or so. And then I will fill the holes with spray foam. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I think it's a good idea because then it'll be more insulated. Other than that, I would like to be able to put the ceiling on this week and get that closed in so that the insulation doesn't keep falling on my head. 
It's exciting. It's gonna start looking a lot different real soon. This is the three inch gap filler, so it should spread out pretty well. Shake weight. Is my hair stupid? Feels stupid. Okay, let's see. Let me just take a moment to see how cute Byron is being. So we went with quarter inch plywood for the walls. We'll see if that was a good decision or not. I just figured with the rigid foam filling in the gaps between the studs that it would be solid enough to where it would feel like it was half inch or something like that. We'll see. It definitely saves a good bit of money getting quarter inch because plywood right now is through the roof. material that will actually see. Wow, good job. Looks pretty good, huh? Yep. Well, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna take my doggie on a walkie. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today we're gonna finish the ceiling, putting this plywood up. I'll probably end the day with that. So, that's all. I just suck at measuring. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. Or maybe you will, maybe you've seen this before. If you have a line that you need to erase, you literally take your tape measure and look at this. Are you kidding me? The back end is an eraser. What? Let's try to make it fit in the first try. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> I got it! I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> oh. Is it good on your side? Yeah. Oh, Give me a second. I just want to explain something while my kids are sitting right? Why I'm in this attire. <laughs> I just work really early so then I get home, I take a nap. Micah's working on the ambulance, so that's why he's doing most of the work during the week. And I look like this. Everything looks good here. I'm good over here. Well, first try. We'll see if I can do it by myself without calling stuff out here. That was good. Whoa, very nice. Good job. All right, everybody. Today was a short day. I was spent the morning editing and running errands. I had to go to the hardware store, of course. But we got the ceiling done. Looks great. A quarter inch seemed to work just fine, especially since it's the rigid foam behind it. So happy with that. Probably see you tomorrow. I'll be doing more electrical stuff. We're gonna film it just for you. Welcome. What's up, everybody? This is like day seven of non-stop rain. 
I'm going crazy. Good job. Pretty bright, huh? Yeah.